I scored 98 in SST last year, so I'm the best person to tell you about this. Here's how to present your SST paper to guarantee free marks. First of all, the MCQs. Along with the option, also write the full answer. And if you do want to save time, write it as first word, dot dot last word. It does work as I did this last year in my SST paper as well. Do revise the MCQs multiple times as it doesn't take much time and also saves you from silly mistakes. Never leave MCQs. At least write something so that you might have a chance of getting marks. For the subjective questions, write it as points. Always the exception is let's say you have a question of three marks and you know only two points. Then write it as a paragraph. It's better to write in points as make the teachers think you know the whole answer as three marks is equal to three points. But that's what the average people do. See, what you got to do is mention three or four points if it's for two marks and four or five points when it's for three marks. Whether those extra points are absolutely irrelevant went as well do write them since that makes the teacher think you know more than you actually do as they'll only read the first two points and then think okay he knows the answer tick if you do not know more points than two for two markers then just write something related to the topic in the third point and trust me it will help but if in a three marker you only know two points then keep it in paragraph form and in that as well write irrelevant information irrelevant to the question but relevant to the topic this will get the teacher thinking you know two points and you've written a paragraph so they'll skip your other lines now let's say you know nothing about a question then just write everything you know about about that topic the teacher is instructed to give you marks wherever possible so do not worry too much about making a bad impression etc now comes the even smarter and obvious part underlining keywords always keywords are words which will sum your answer up if a question is about non cooperation keywords are 1921 chauri chaura gorakhpur etc also do not underline the keywords in the irrelevant lines in but in point form, you should definitely underline them so that the teacher thinks that you've not written it absolutely bad and it's something that's related or relevant to the topic. You might have to watch this video twice or thrice to get the hang of this, but trust me, it's worth it and it saved me about three to four marks. Now with the map work, always attach a map inside the paper and not outside or hanging. That is if you're given a map to plot, since that's also not sure for a question. In reading time, read questions and already start forming points in your mind for each question. That once you go to that question, you have a rough idea on what the answer would be and you can just start right away. In the three and five mark answers, always provide an intro let's say it's asked some problem about x then first explain x and then start with the problems like a statement stating that this is x started in this problems are and do not consider this as a point then you have an introductory statement to your actual answer and for more tips to score better subscribe Chalo,